Alrighty, we so, are back. Uh, More of the Cory. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is flashback. This will figure out how she lost her eye. Oh, I think Max just turned. Like, full on turned, or whatever. That whole blood just kind of going everywhere. Break out of his shell. You goddamn kids. Okay. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Okay. Name. Don't want to piss him off even more than what Laura, we already you? have. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brinley, he's my boyfriend. Where were we headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Matt? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Mm-hmm. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Ah. Uh. Why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm hmm. North Kill. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Okay. Please. Will you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on? Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? 
I think there's another character that's just kind of made us to believe he's a bad guy when he's really not. Maybe. Uh, I'll behave. That fucking smirk on his face, though. Let's go. Hey. Wait, that's Max. Hey, you asshole. Oh, he might have changed. Up, what the fuck's going on, Max? I know you hear me. So does somebody else change? Do you have somebody else in the... Max! Are you okay? Or do they change it back afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind Maybe of because mixed up, but... Almost like a werewolf top more ordeal. More intact, I think. Maybe he only changes at what? night? In the moonlight? Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? The sheriff. sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Okay. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Max, calm down. You're only making up worse. Laura. Yeah, we can be some little smart asses, but when it comes to actually struggling, just comply. I think he did turn, he probably turned back. Because he doesn't have any blood on him or markings it didn't look like. He got sacked by the throat, neck area. What's this? Who knew? A loose brick. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. I'm about to get something to pry it out. A little shiv of some sort. What's here? Spoon. Like a broken spoon. <laughs> I 
or been up one. Oh, don't go over there immediately. Come on. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. I want to see what the other thing was. Yeah, she's still covering blood, and he wasn't. Ah, yes. Well, I think he did turn, and they turned back during the day or something. Is there nothing in there? Huh. What was the other thing? Did we put something in there? Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the I'm fuck is that talk supposed to, to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Pinky bonky. The fuck, dude? Like the winky wonky donkey. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though, what happened? He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning. And I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Because you didn't change. Rude. He did. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though, you know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? <laughs> well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives?
This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. <laughs> no. Not. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. Why you still go to you community know you college? You talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Hey, look at me. I went to community college and dropped out. Okay, let's just got the focus on getting out. Dream of here job. For now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, you but think? there's like nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it, hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know full moon yeah Werewolves. what if uh okay no stop i'm just saying you know maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf are you out of your goddamn mind <sighs> werewolves seriously what the fuck what 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 what's so funny I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens. Dude, you kind of seen time it. I'm hopping Draculas.
Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> she told you. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You, you told me to. told me to. <laughs> and if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> if we did the right There's thing, cut off all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Okay. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, <laughs> stop. Just one problem at a time. Alright, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think he could have done that a long time ago, especially if you've been there for a couple weeks. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. Right? So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work... He's only the cop there, it seems. Escape. Deal? I'll said so. Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Going in for another interrogation. Hey, hey, T Money. Can I call you T Money? Why? You 
You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It... Okay. <laughs> Besides yeah. that. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! <laughs> we know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Oh, tell me half of it. I can piece together the other half, maybe. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? It's about to change. Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're gonna make her You're watch him change? It until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. We'll tell you money. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. That'll be nice. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. Don't blow up in the Don't blood. worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. This should be right about the time that the main story picked up, isn't it? There's like a two month gap there. This might be that morning. Did you just lose her eye? Or the beginning of that night? Oh, she had a pretty good eye patch, though. I don't know where she would have found it, but. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Well, right. I don't feel so good. Not good, like how? I don't know, just bad. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? I'm down. <laughs> Max? You gonna go boom. Break out into the black skinned or wolf looking thing. Hey, what's going on? Blow his tops. Yes. His hand looks swollen. Teeth are all getting sharp. Just like that. 
Oh shit, yep, that's how you do it. You lost your eye. Did she, did she break that handcuff? How'd that fucking happen? No, 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 this isn't then, because it's two months and this happens once every month. Meds movie. Yeah, she was handcuffed to that thing. Did he break the pipe or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like he might have broke it. Might have been able to go that way, but I don't know. Could really be anything down there. I was looking at Max. Bathroom. Get back in here. Anything hiding? Can we pick up any of this stuff? Oh. This. Uh, anything in this room before we leave? Steps over there. I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Nah, we're gonna keep snooping. I didn't know where that led. Oh, we can go upstairs. What all these are. Ooh, hey. Arrow card. Surprised that didn't pop up earlier. All these doors locked. What's he hiding? Hmm. Can't interact with that one. Yep. Like all of this is gonna be locked. So we might have to go upstairs. We can go over here first. office or something. Oh, okay. We can go in here. Get on the computer. Hello? Oh, okay. Get a picture lay down. Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Okay. What's birthday? I hope we can go back here. We can find something. Got a picture frame. It over. Can we pick that up? I don't look at this. 
Break show goes up in flames. Missing hikers. Dan Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Oh. It's missing. Maybe we can go upstairs and find some clues as to when his birthday is. I don't know how long we have here or what exactly will trigger the next events. I'm kind of afraid since we tried that, we would have gave up afterwards. Like that had been something we'd need to find before we went in there. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Oh, uh, let's not do that. Let's keep on looking. Rest later. You ain't got no plans. Fifty-six, huh? Boy. Fifty-six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty-five. Okay, it's not really per day. That's the year he's born. Okay. We're piecing together some clues. Got this other door down here. What, two more doors? What's that? The fuck? Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Yeah. Huh. Why are you walking away, bitch? Okay. <laughs> They don't be walking away. More things to explore here. Maybe. Maybe not. That's the only thing in here. Okay. There's one door down here. Should hopefully have something. The actual date. Ooh, syringes. What he used to drug this us? Must be what he used to knock me out. Yeah. I can hide this in myself. I need to lie down. No, not yet, woman. Not yet. Look, we're so close. Climb over this. This. Full moon. Birthday. The last seven? Cha ching. Okay. Let's see if we can climb over that bit. Probably not, but we got what we needed. So let's go back down there. The last 7th, 1965. I hope she'll just put it in instead of having us actually try to remember and put it in. I hate that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, put in the date. It's like, all right, do you want the actual month? Or do you want the month number? You want a single digit number? You want the you know, two digit number and day zeros in it or what? The four digit year, two digit year. Here, there. Put out so much stuff online and put in a birth date. And I was like, it's incorrect. I was like, it's not incorrect. I know exactly what it is. All right, come on. Come on. Let's be on that side. Here we go. See what we can find out here. There we go. Fuck yeah. You heard this shit, we got something. 
weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the Hag of Hackett's Quarry, never to be seen again. The Hag because of Hackett's Quarry. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. Okay. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. We get the chance. I'm going to go ahead and try to walk down the max. That's everything. They could look at them. All that blood on the floor. How you doing, buddy? Oh shit! Maybe we didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. I was just wanting to look at him. Okay, buddy. Now let's just go back to our cell. Oh, hell, there's a sh cell in between us. Okay, we get to look at this now. What the fuck was While this? the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Hmm. Okay. Now that we have this... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not quite sure. I figured that's what that we could have done that instead of having to grab that spoon. Looking this would made us lay down. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we by where we good. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Good thing we hit that syringe. Was he probably would have found it. Happy? Brew some coffee. Mm okay. Back to his normal self. What's this? An education. Watch. Where 
pretty dark for four in the afternoon. Nice to up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? <laughs> uh. Sure. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. I didn't figure it was. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. Was you cursed? We're going to end this thing once and for all. the hag. We? Yeah. But those two hunters are also Hackett's. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. You're him, Chris, and the other big old hunter Not dude. Probably brothers. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're going to do this for Max, and I'm going to get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. Okay. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep reading. Kill the original. Uh, I'll be nice. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. It's easier for people to remember That's that type of stuff. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf and that's a big F. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. All right. Seen enough? Okay, what did he watch? A little tablet or something. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. You're... you're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. You said let me in there. Crick. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor. He didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. He said you scrapped an abandoned yep. car. Bobby. A while back, I, I worked out That's the, the big dude. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What was I supposed to do? What was that? Did you say Chris bit one of them? Me. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? Can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. But Chris was the... Max! Uh, Reach of the Max. attack, Max. Uh, That's why he it? was in the fucking thing. The trap door Travis in the basement. Yeah. The hall talking, the cop. Oh? With Chris Hackett. 
Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit. Yeah, with that's... the trap door that leads to his office. Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess thinking about it, I could have. Yeah, I mean, think about it. it now. It's like, yeah, that's... it all makes sense. Yeah, that's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then Travis wants you to yeah, kill his brother. That's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? On Travis wants you to do it. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. He just can't bring himself to doing it. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey, hey, help her! Laura needs help. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Mm -hmm. Damn right. Oh, I, and I, I was thinking it was Emma when we seen that. Forgot about Fuck. this chick when we seen that little fucking premonition. Okay, he's out. Grab his gun, grab his keys, lock him in there. And go. Sorry, dude. Good. At least you grabbed keys. So, summer camp only for one month? Starting to think you were really oh, sick. Oh, it was two months. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. Where does Chris go during the summer while camp is in session? And he turns. himself in that storm shelter and nobody knows about it and he doesn't know how to open it grab our stuff we need silver ammo he must have some around here there are some of those doors that were locked what is it I thought I heard someone something's here, Oops, something's here. look it's on her arm It's coming from behind that door. She's got some type of wound on her right arm there. Did she get scratched there too? Guns, ammo. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? What's up, a grenade or? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. 
We got him up. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this tonight. But it's only taking a full moon for one night. I mean, it's close enough to it. I guess you can count it for a couple nights, but I mean, technically, it's only one night. And I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's so it. Max that's is the one that attacked Emma. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. I wonder where she found after that after you saw me at the pool after I shot Chris. Um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But so Chris is the one that was in the pool. Interesting. Okay. So Chris is dead. And this is a long ass chapter, it seems. I don't know how long we've been going, but it keeps on going, it seems. I'm fine with. She found my op at. Oh, it's not still just randomly bandaged up. I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. <laughs> we don't have much time. Oh. <laughs> 
What the fuck is this? So this is our new gas. <laughs> Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. That's not the fortune teller chick, is it? I ain't gonna do nothing. Amy, what is happening? Please, please! Oh my God, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh! Is your is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money, and lots of it. I mean, I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. I bet that was probably the haggard smother <laughs> or something. Just let me go, please! I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh Jesus <geez>, Christ! <laughs> Oh, is this in the uh, store? I remember That's they stopping cages bobby. back there. He's looking in the back room. There's hey. a beer. Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Looks like that shot. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? I don't even remember if we brought anything, do we? Yeah. I suppose that was such a long chapter. The chariot. The reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. It's taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Of course. You'll he opens be the door. seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that as long as you follow the right path, of course. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out. Ely, everybody love everybody.